welcome to drive with care this is driving test route number 10. i think this one's a good one because it takes us out towards hythe and then up the um up the hill from hythe onto the Cheriton bypass thing and then back into Cheriton, back to the test center so just remember you are the driver your examiner is a passenger treat it as if you were a taxi driver taking him on a you know requested route so you're not being tested because you already know how to drive right your driving school has taught you and they wouldn't be putting you ready for the test if you weren't ready so I shall have the voiceover which will tell me what directions to go and let's just do it leaving the test center I will still call out hazards and I will still read out the road signs but I think for the most part I'm just going to follow instructions at the junction turn right it's difficult to see when there's vehicles parked at the junction turn left going on at the junction turn right I don't forget that we share the road with other road users be it other vehicles cyclists pedestrians the like so we're all in it together at the junction, turn left. Right, this junction's a proper stopper. At the junction, turn right. if anything's coming. We've got a pedestrian crossing on the island but it's not his right of way. So it's all the 30 mile an hour zone. I'm not sure we'll get any more than 30 on this route. Maybe there'll be a 50 zone. Don't think there'll be any national speed limit though. And I think this route only takes about 20, 25, 26 minutes, it said on the Google Maps when I um, did the plan. Hazard, slippery surface, right? Into sand gate. Watch your speed going down the hill here because it's very easy to let the car roll and do more than 30, you see. But I'm doing 30, so that's good. to Sandgate where we will have vehicles parked on both sides of the road we'll have cars coming out to pass the parked vehicles we might have pedestrians crossing doors opening
is a 30 zone, but we're currently doing 18. <laughs> People pull out onto the main road and then go slow, don't they? Have you ever noticed that? So we get to travel along the parade here and we'll go on Princess Parade as well. So just watch out for doors opening, pedestrians coming out between cars, that kind of thing. And this road is um, speed camera controlled. So it is 30 zone, but you shouldn't be doing more than 30 anyway on your test, I would have thought, at least in the 30 zone, right? Looks glorious out there, 16 degrees it says in my car, not quite summer yet. Take the next left. It's a strange route this for a driving test. And the DVSA don't publish driving tests anymore, but the, the routes that I'm taking are all from a previous um, website. So there may be current, I don't know. Leave that one to your driving school to, to tell you all about that. So we're in a 40 zone now. But with cars parked on the left, you, you might be thinking about giving way if there's oncoming traffic. When you get a slow car like this in front of me, and it's your test, don't get frustrated by it. Think of it as a favor, because it's actually controlling you to drive the correct speed, <laughs> or at least not exceed the speed limit. Try and get yourself behind a tractor. That'll be the best solution. Silver car's going to give way to the oncoming traffic. no instruction to turn off, I'm continuing straight on.
At the junction, turn left. So it's no right turn anyway, and it's a stop sign. So we will naturally go left. I will still indicate, even though it's a left only, because there might be pedestrians wondering what I'm doing. At the roundabout, take the third exit. So it's all around the roundabout, looking for that third exit. really is a strange route because you're half in urban area and then half off the beaten track and you only get I say you only get one chance at it if you don't pass your test the first time or the second or the third however many attempts it takes you only get one try you know I thankfully passed my test the first time so I only had one test route to do. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you might never see any of these test routes that I do if you pass your test the first time. Anyway, we're going uphill here. I can see that there is um, a weight restriction of seven and a half tons, so I can't, I shouldn't expect any big trucks coming down. to a 40 zone. The company horses. on the right traffic lights that whole stretch was a 40 we did 30 <laughs> at the roundabout take the third exit Just 
still a Ford Cezanne. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So you want to position yourself. Because we're taking the second exit, we're going straight across technically. So we get into the chariot lane. to the dual carriageway on the left hand lane always a good thing lights are green At the traffic lights, continue straight on. So because the lights are red, we don't want to sit on the crisscross section. Is that what a box junction? It's a box, isn't it? But you've got to keep it clear, so don't, don't park on it. So watch out for your hazards, which are going to be vehicles coming out of junctions, cars parking or not parking, leaving car park spaces, doors opening, pedestrians, all of that stuff. Got some pedestrians waiting. Come on. You do the world a favour and then they don't do anything. <laughs> don't do that on your test. That's me being courteous and then they don't... <laughs> I don't think you're expected to stop. <laughs> I lost my patience there. <laughs> I'm like, oh God. I wonder if I should edit that out.
At the traffic lights, turn right. So we're going right at the lights, make sure you get in your lane, obviously. And I think the other thing will be that you obviously will need to, you know, move in when there's a gap. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to cover the um, pedestrian crossing area just in case the lights change and we don't manage to get through. Yeah, there's a gap. I think we're heading back to the test centre. At the traffic lights, continue straight on. Take the fourth right. Take the second left. He should have given way. He should have pulled in. We are definitely going back to the test centre. It's kind of pass passing places as if you were in a country lane. So if there's oncoming vehicles, you're going to have to look for a gap to pull in. At the junction, turn right. Take the next left. Take the next left. Take the next right. Take the next left. There's a car coming out, but I want to go in. I'll let you come out. That guy was on his test, I reckon, and I'm telling him to come out. <laughs> what a shame. I should just pull in here. That was a strange one for me because I was getting impatient behind the silver car going down Prince's Parade 
thinking, why are you doing 30? It's a 40 zone. And then going up the hill from Hyde, that was behind the red micro, which did 30 all the way. But you know what? If it's your test, then don't get frustrated. Be thankful that there's something stopping you speeding and stopping you race along. Does that make sense? So you can just relax into it. Anyway, that was test route number 10. And... Um, I think there's still quite a few to cover, so, um, you know, if you're watching the channel for the driving tests, um, I get a lot of views, an awful lot of views, um, mostly from non-subscribers, so, yeah, consider subscribing, because then you'll get the next in the series anyway. Okay, that was a long one. Thanks for watching and bearing with, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Drive with care.